Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little video to show you uh, an upgrade you can do easily at your house with your hotspot if you have a Pi hotspot. This is a Pi Zero hotspot. This is the original Pi Zero. This sucker is, I don't know, elderly. And on top is the, this is the MMDVM board right here. This is what does the radio to internet translation. This is the gateway. And so this is a standard connector set on this thing. And I'm going to pull it off. The problem with the Pi Zero is that it's old. It is not got a lot of juice and the Pi Star application may work, but the web interface doesn't work. And then if you need to change anything or you want to look at the dashboard, you can't. You got a power cycle, then it'll work for a little while, then it'll die again. And I'm getting tired of that. So I'm going to upgrade mine. And um, after the upgrade, I won't have to change out anything. I'm going to use this same SD card. I'm not going to reformat it. I'm just going to pop it in the new um, replacement Pi. So let's take him out and set him aside. This is, as I said, the MMDVM board. We're going to keep him. I'm not going to throw this away. So we're, but we're going to save him because I'm a, I'm a little bit of a hoarder and I'm going to push him out of the way for now. And what I'm going to replace him with is a plug compatible Raspberry Pi 02W. These are hard to get. <laughs> I have two of them. I bought them from Chicago Electronics Distributors and I'll put a link in the description down below and I've had them for a couple months and this was one of the projects I wanted to do with it the issue we have it's not really an issue it doesn't have header pins on it so I've got some header pins and I'm gonna solder header pins on this and we're gonna make it plug compatible with the old one so those pins match up and then it's just a matter of putting this board back on this thing sticking the SD card in and then I have a functional hotspot running on a much much faster Raspberry Pi as I said these are hard to get uh, Chicago electronic distributors was selling these in lots of one each that's all you could buy at a time so I, I want to upgrade this this is going to be out here in my shop but I'd like it so it it works and doesn't keep crashing. So that's what the upgrade's for. Once that's done, this will run about as fast as a Raspberry Pi 3B. And the beauty of this compared to a 3B is this has onboard Wi-Fi and onboard Bluetooth if you needed either one of those. It has the uh, mid-sized HDMI connector, it has power, and it has a connector for using an OTG adapter to break it out into more USB ports if you needed real USB ports. The one thing it doesn't have is a wired network connection, which out here in my shop would be awesome because I have a, a network switch out here and I could plug this in, but I also have Wi-Fi out here, so it's no big deal to me. This upgrade, like I said, is plug compatible. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this sucker in uh, some clips and solder us in some header connectors. Okay, so I've got our little headers cut to match these. Um, both sides, there are five pins in two rows. So that's what it, uh, exactly what I'm gonna reproduce on this. I did one of these the other day and I replaced both rows of header pins and down the road I may or may not use them. I don't think I have enough header pins to do that, but I have enough to do this. So that's what I'm doing with this one. So we're gonna get this mounted up and I'm going to tack these in on the back side and then finish soldering them. All right, so we got this guy. We got those header pins soldered in, and that's about all there is to this little operation. So all I'm going to do, and I'm not going to put it on the video, y'all seen a computer boot up. I've got this, there we go, I've got those pins soldered in there, and then all we have to do on this thing is make this up to the hat, the MMDVM hat. And that is it. I'm going to use the exact same card, and once I remember where the card slot is, and if you've never done this, it's it's easy. And just put the card back in. Now he's in. 
give him 5 volts of USB power through a micro adapter and I have a brand new hotspot. The board, the Pi board cost me $15 plus $5 shipping which is probably uh, about uh, $4 more than shipping is worth on this thing. So now I've got uh, a refurbished hotspot that will run the current version of Pi Star software and do any of the fancy stuff that I may or may not want to do with Pi Star. Guys that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching. If you would, give me a thumbs up. If you like this content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you've rung that bell so you get notified whenever I publish any new videos. Appreciate it. 73, y'all.